welcome back to Sid Meier's civilization. Beyond Earth! Alright, next turn. There they come. I have something that needs your attention. I am aware. But it was not possible until just now, trust me. Alright. To Kuyen. I'm certain. Try to get there fast, would you? Make it snappy. Good. Good. Die! <laughs> yeah, just sit there and get pummeled to death. It's cool. It's cool. Follow me. You want to do that? Yeah? Sure. Be my guest. Really, seriously. Alright. Go to here. To the Rosellin. This looks like a. Yeah, it's a better Rosellin than the Miasma Rosellin. Yes, same price. Excellent. Go here. Plus, it's closer to you. So, it's going to end will extend our borders and sort of make sensible way. Plus, the trading route will be able to go through our territory longer, which is no doubt a good thing. Alright. Um. Put ourselves in the vital frontier. Alright, Keen. I see you just won. No, you aren't going to produce the wonder of the Stellar Codex. You're going to be producing either a Vanium, possibly an old Earth relic, so you can gather. You know what? That's actually a pretty good idea, since I want you to expand. The other problem is this, which is also. Well, it's not reducing our health anymore. I, I mean, our, our culture anymore. Um. Build. Build a clinic. We'll be done soon. Yes. Yes, build a clinic. For health. Once we get once we get back into the green, I'm going to build a new city, I think. Gonna get a colonist out there. I know where we should put it. Actually, I don't want to. It's, it's wondering it's going to take our time. Time we need. Ah, I, I was thinking about maybe putting it here, now that I think about it. Okay, we well, see, it was going to be either here. Or it was going it was going to be there. Or it was going to be... Oh, I never, I didn't think about it over here. We might put it over here as well. Okay, quest decision. Quest decisions, decisions. A scientist working at Alva Varia must made a profound discovery. Wazina Psychota, she has developed her unique reactions to tissue from Earth organisms, and she claims they could be used to make Earth alien hybrid organs. Her colleagues condemn her work as dangerous and unethical. Meddling and bailing by Lordy before we fully understand the consequences. They are threatening to shut the project down. Well, I love science, but I'm afraid that goes against our very. That, that goes against our quest, our mandate. Oh, Purity! Stop the project! Oh! Actually, actually, if we're going to be... Th okay. Well, I'm, I'm all about science, though. I am all about science. I say continue the research. This could be interesting. Yes. Yes, science. <laughs> Continue the research. The project is advancing. 
Early trials suggest these xenocytes could lead to strange new discoveries in science and medicine. Hmm. How are we able to? How are we going to fully understand if if we do not? You see, you see what I'm saying? I didn't just say anything. But how are we going to fully understand if we do not begin to res if we don't research? We must research to understand. Far. to explode? Oh dear. Hmm, weird. Must be my imagination. Very vivid, eh? Alright, next turn. Oh, this is great. It's an alien sea dragon. I don't trust it. That being said, it probably could have killed us already. Oh, man. Oh, okay, so you're good. Ah, oh, yes, uh, wait, 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 hold on. Just cancel your maneuvers. I want to take a look here. How fast are these alien sea dragons? I should think they should be as fast as our boats. I mean, after all, they are adapted for the water. Then again, that is... It doesn't particularly look like that's a good swimming design. Well, let's see what we got. Um, our concepts. Units! Alien Sea Dragon. No, no one wants to, no one wants to share with me. But in, oh, perhaps it's a, um, a, perhaps I'm looking in the wrong place. We're not looking for, we're not looking for land units. A Rocktopus? Oh my goodness. What the heck is that? Attack jet? Ooh, a tactical jet. Makes sense. There we go. Sea Dragon. Basic alien naval unit. Serpentis Malis E. Gentis. Legends of old earth populated the seas with monster serpents and all manner of fearsome beasts. Mariner's tales were often of creatures as yet unverified by science. Sperm whales, giant squids, great white sharks, dolphins, and the like. And this planet indeed has a sea monster. Serpentis Maris Ingentis, better known as the Sea Dragon. Oh my gosh. They're all extinct. His tree's been erased, and they're all extinct. Oh my gosh, what have happened here? Earth is such a wreck. I hope our, I hope we, our history, hope our knowledge of the history, like from Roman time, you know, from like from the medieval era, hope our knowledge of history from the Renaissance is not so terrible. Oh my gosh. All of these. All of these exist! Sperm whales, giant squids, great white sharks, dolphins, they all existed in the 21st century. We know that the drugs were used then, what would we know, but these things are real. Oh my gosh. Better known as the Sea Dragon. Zoologists have not yet classified this creature, for it has characteristics of both Earth, Ophidia, and Cephalopoda classes. Scientists have speculated that it is an oceanic evolution of the Vermis Obsidian Colossus, but that high hypothesis remains a matter of intense debate. A massive creature, the largest specimen thus found thus far measures slightly under 200 meters, yet weighed only 1,275 kilograms, indicating that its natural habitat is in deep water although it can survive for lengthy periods in shallower depths. 
broad fins along the mantle provides locomotion, combined with an undulating contraction of symmetrical lateral muscles. Like the drill worm, it has a trifurcated mouth lined with hooks. While the primary staple of its diet is the planetary equivalent of quill, it too will eat almost any organic matter. Who knows why it needs such horribly big teeth to eat krill? Who knows? The keenness... And how, why would there be krill here? Why? What, krill will just exist everywhere? Okay. The keenness of its sight is a matter of conjecture. It has been observed that it can focus its trinocular vision upon a single point. In addition, like some pit vipers on Earth, it has infrared sensitive organs in the snout allowing it to track heat sources. The latter means that it is drawn to ocean vessels, as it is unable to distinguish between organic and manufactured heat sources. This has led to a number of unfortunate encounters of colonial boats and ships, but Serpentis Maris has unexpectedly attacked such occasionally. In general, however, the species is not aggressive. And the greatest danger to shipping, swimmers, and human aquaculture are inadvertent collisions. On the other hand, the flesh of the Serpentis Meris has proved to be a delicacy in hunting. Similar to the outlawed whaling industry, these beasts have become a profitable pursuit in some settlements, leading to ever more violent encounters. Wait, I, I still didn't look at how fast it is. Full movement! We, we couldn't get away, even if we wanted to. And we do! Very well. It doesn't like the coast. Right? I, seemed, I, I think I read that it didn't like the coast. So we'll go to the coast. If it follows us, us, us here, we've just got some seriously bad luck, I think. I d I hope you're not seeing this alien sea dragon that I'm attacking your brethren. The... The Sea Worm! Don't worry, I won't do it for long. It'll be dead soon. <laughs> Alright. You shall also go to Queen. We'll eventually get the capability over there. But until then, yes, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright. And you shall... Uh, still a codex? Still a codex? Or a trade vessel? For Nintin. No, let's go with the Stella Codex. It's about time. It's uh, not as good a deal as the laboratory. As far as how, much, how many turns it'll take. But it's a wonder. I'm going to beat you all, church, out there. You're going to be beaten. You're going to be beaten. You're so beaten. Oh my gosh, how did you... Your tile is epic. What happened here? Is it just from a road? Oh my gosh. That's just from a road. What? Why can't I get that epicness? We need roads, huh? Perhaps I'd let my workers free then. Hmm. Are you getting AI bonuses? You're getting AI bonuses, aren't you? Are you? Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Alright, unit needs orders. Straight convoy. You've come to Kuhn for one reason, to trade. You cannot, you cannot trade with, you, it would appear that Tian Gong you may not trade with. However, because you're already trading with, I guess, Tian Gong's trading with you, perhaps. But you can trade with Nia Tian. So do it. You will gain six production. They will gain food. You have food. You have more food than them. They have more production than you. You will both 
do very well in this trade. I am certain. Alright, so due to the fact that there appears to be no way to... Yes. Wait, it provides eight, but it will provide us nine. Alright, so considering that this is certain, this is stable, maybe... Maybe roads have nothing to do with anything. Yes, that might be the case. Alright, worker. Construct a paddock. Now can't do it outside my territory. Not our territory yet. Twill be. This tile is being blockaded by an enemy. May not work it until the blockading enemy is removed. What? Was blockading the square? Are you blockading this square? Oh, because you can get there one turn. Right. It's if it has a movement of four, and it's four away, you can blockade the tile. Oh, interesting. I think uh, that must be the case. Alright. I'm going to purchase this Rosella. We're going to construct a paddock. Construct a paddock. For research. A Franco Iberian explorer. I hope if if I die, you die. Hopefully. Alright. Let's um let's risk it, yes? Let's risk this. There's no point in continuing on foot. We're fast this is rough terrain or faster outside in water. Don't be aggressive. Try not to collide with us, please. Alright, next turn. Oh no! Ooh! That... That really hurt. I guess it just collided with us, huh? Goodness gracious, was that really necessary, you sea monster beast? What was I? I'm blocking you, I'm sorry. If you kill me, I'm going to be really angry. I'm almost inclined to re. To, I'm almost inclined to say. Arr! Right now. And just. And just be all like. Well, let's. Okay, we're exploring. All right, established it. Well, you got here fast, didn't you? Was that an instant relocation? Whatever. Oh, as it turns out, there's only the one place you can trade with. Stead mining. Do it, man. I am certain. All right, kill them then. Next turn. Onward. Stop being here. Let's go to him. Oh my gosh, it's crawling with enemies. Oh, sea dragons abound. Alright, let's get on land. It's a lot safer. Oh, I'm gonna get it before the explorer. We're gonna get it before the explorer. It's amazing that we did some damage to them. They've got protection, huh? The embarked units. It's really something. Kill! It's revenge. Yeah, they like attacked us once. I'm killing. I killed so many of them. The aliens, I'm so mean. The old earth relic. Or oh, the cider nursery. Hmm. Food and science. Health and science. Well. I say let's go with the cider nursery. 
We can get this into the green again. It is possible. Saito Nursery. Alright, well, for no bad reason, I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.